So you have eight weeks. You're about to take step one. What should you do? First, take a diagnostic as soon as possible. Don't wait until you feel ready. Everybody starts at different levels. The diagnostic wakes you up to what step one actually demands of you. Two, don't compare your timeline to anybody else's. Some people start at 40%. Your only job is to improve. This is a marathon. Third, start your world early. Even 10 questions a day is going to help you understand the step one question style. Then build up to the 40 question blocks and it builds your endurance. This is coming from somebody who has been working hard on their own question bank. There will be a time when my question bank is ready. But for now, use your world. It's the gold standard for a reason. Four, don't let Anki take over your life. Use the cards only for concepts that you truly can't remember. Otherwise, prioritize you world or other PDFs and other high yield videos. Fifth, you're gonna forget things and that's okay. Just re-review your weaker systems every week. Six, take breaks. Step one studying should be about 70 hours plus each week. So go to the gym, go on walks, watch movies like crazy, stay sane. Step eight, I would say watch the videos on this channel. It's a miracle that what we're doing is free. And nine, do the free 120, do the online MBMEs at the testing center to reduce the test anxiety. If you're looking for a plan, here's what I suggest. Weeks one to two, do Pathoma one to six. Do a little bit of your world as well. Weeks three to four, do cardio, palm, GI. Five to six, do endo, repro, heme, MSK, and derm. Seven to eight, do biochem. Dirty medicine has some good stuff. We've got some good stuff on the channel. Also cover neuro, and then weekly do an MBME about every seven to 10 days. And the goal is to break 70% before test week. That's how you pass in eight weeks. If you found this helpful, then like and subscribe. We'll help you not just with step one, but also two, three, and beyond.